Hello and welcome to our first Conestoga College virtual fair. My name is Bill Adams and I'm the truck and coach coordinator for Conestoga College and I've been with the college for about 10 years now. I've been teaching for about 13 and I've been in the industry for over 40 years. So anyways, uh, today I want to uh, go through a couple of our programs and see if there's uh, some answers that I can give you uh, with regards to some of the questions you might have with our programs. And uh, to start that out, I think what I'll do is I'll share my screen with you. And I got a little PowerPoint made up for you. And uh, we'll go through that and see if we can answer some questions. So first of all, I want to look at the two programs. The first one is the Motive Power Techniques program, 1384, and it's a one-year certificate program. Uh, the second one is our Motive Power Technician program, uh, 0731, and it's a two-year diploma program. Um, in our department, we have uh, several faculty members with uh, a variation and a vast amount of experience in different aspects of the trade. Uh, we have guys that have been in dealerships. Uh, some have been in independent shops. Um, we have some guys with, uh, you know, that are fairly new in the trade uh, that have become faculty. We also have some guys that have been around for a few years and um, have quite a a large experience in the trade. So um, we have a, a very good contingency of people that can deliver a good product here. So um, these are just some of the names that uh, you'll see around the campus. We have some part-time people that come in and fill in as well. So, and again, they bring their own uh, experience with them. So we have a, a lot of people that can fill the void uh, wherever it happens to be. So today, uh, the two programs, the Motor Power Techniques program, this is a one-year program. It basically has two semesters. They run from September to December, and then we take a break, and then from January to April. Uh, it's an Ontario College Certificate program, so if you have successfully completed all the courses in this program, uh, you will walk away and graduate with a certificate in hand, and you can enter the trade at that time. Uh, it's designed to prepare our students for a career in the truck and coach industry, and I'll talk about those different careers later. Um, and at the end, we're hoping that uh, you will get a level one apprenticeship equivalency, which means that when you're done with this program, you basically have done the same things that an apprentice has done in level one. And as long as the employer and the ministry agree, you can become a level one apprentice in your new job. So... I'm not gonna go through all of these courses, but uh, there are uh, quite a few courses that you're gonna look at in semester one and semester two, which is the full year. Um, and basically what you're looking at here, we have uh, um, you know, some of the courses that we would do with uh, most of our programs, reading, writing, math, and all that. And then we get into some of the level one um, introdu introductory stuff to the level one apprenticeship. So we have uh, drawing schematics, basic electricity, uh, we look at trade and repair practice where you're uh, learning about the shop and, you know, jacking up pieces of equipment and hoisting uh, engines and stuff like that. And, and the safety aspects, WIMIS, uh, those are all part of that, uh, that piece. Um, we also spend a long period of time with introduction to truck and coach. And that there's a, a nice piece because there's a lot of hands-on involved in it. Um, we built this program around that that part of it because we want to make sure that when you come in here, you enjoy the experience of working on the truck and everything, and uh, you'll be spending a lot of time in the shop. Um, we also throw in some welding in there, and we have a very nice welding shop here. Uh, the welding portion of it, uh, we build on that as we go. The semester to the uh, January to April portion, we go into uh, a little bit of business, uh, teaching you about uh, how a shop runs and whatnot. We look at all the legal issues and motive power, so some of the things that you might run into in the shop. Uh, fluid power systems, which is hydraulics. We look at engine and fuels, electrical and drivetrain and brake systems, and then we finish with a general elective. Uh, if you wanna look at any part of that program, you can click on this link right here and it'll take you right to our program uh, on the Conestoga website. The second one is the two-year program, and it's basically four semesters, the first two being repetitive with the certificate program. And uh, so the first two semesters, you'll do the same as the certificate program, and then you'll go on to semester three and four, which uh, basically, whoops, sorry, 
which basically entails going through level two apprenticeship equivalency uh, courses. So again, we'll, sorry, we'll, we'll take on uh, motor power business two, which is basically, uh, you know, an add on to the, the first or the second semester there. Uh, we'll do some shop management, which is these two in com combination are basically all about how to run a shop and whatnot. Uh, we'll look at some more trade practices, some engine systems during suspension brakes. Here we'll look into some uh, engine emissions and whatnot. Then we'll go on to semester four and we'll get, get into some applied engine failure analysis where we'll take broken parts and we'll teach you how to analyze um, how these parts broke and whatnot. We'll look at some electrical diagnostics and repair, uh, electric hybrids, parts management, uh, if you want to be a parts, uh, parts manager or parts person. Um, we'll look at fuels and diagnostics and again there's two more electives that have to be done and again the link is there for you. So I wrote down uh, five quick reasons as to why I might want to take one of these courses at uh, Conestoga College and um, the first one is that uh, when we look at our students we look at uh, you know we want to make sure that when you go out into the industry you're very prepared for what you're going to get into. So we make every provision possible to make sure that your experience at the college is a positive one. Uh, we base a lot on respect and we try to give you the best product that we can and make sure that uh, it's a very satisfying experience for you here at the college. Uh, second one, Conestoga College is a top college in the motor power industry. I've been with the college, like I said, for 10 years now and I've watched our uh, motor power sector grow uh, exponentially. It's uh, you know, it's, we've been, uh, our programs have been outgrowing the actual building that we're in. So uh, hopefully in the coming years, we're going to be moving over to a new building um, in Cambridge. Um, and I'm sure if you've been watching the news, you've seen the announcement. So uh, we are growing very quickly. Uh, the industry itself, uh, we're experiencing a large shortage of technicians right now. So pretty much anyone that wants to be in this trade will be able to walk out of this college when they're done and find a job. It's, it's almost guaranteed. If you want to be in this industry and you can apply yourself, you will find a job in this trade with no problem. Um, college is at the forefront of the industry, providing our students with the latest and greatest in technology and teaching methods. All of our staff um, are constantly upgrading and trying to keep up with industry um, because the industry changes uh, very rapidly right now. We're, we're getting into a lot of electronics and stuff like that on our trucks, and uh, we have to adapt to that. And uh, we, we do our best to keep up with it. Um, as far as uh, what goes on in the shop, we try to update our equipment all the time, and make sure that it's all uh, state-of-the-art equipment that you guys would use in a shop. Um, so we're always upgrading. Uh, and the last one, all of our faculty have extensive experience in the industry and are constantly upgrading. That's kind of what I just said, but um, we're trying to make sure that uh, we're using the latest, greatest technology in our delivery, uh, being like this, like a virtual online presentation or videos or, um, you know, whatever it is, we're trying to give you the best way we can possible to deliver that and make sure that you understand uh, what it is you need to know for uh, this program. So uh, that's basically the first five things that came to my mind when I came up with this fast facts. Bring your own device. This is something new this year. We're looking at uh, implementing this. And what we wanna do is we wanna encourage our students to bring in laptops, tablets, cell phones, uh, whatever do device uh, you feel comfortable with being in a classroom. And uh, I've listed all, all the requirements there. I'm not gonna go over them, but what I want is for you to understand that uh, when we're in the classroom presenting, uh, we want you to be able to take that stuff away with you. And if you didn't get it in class, go back and play it back and you know make sure that you understand it so that uh, you know when you're writing your test or you go to get prepared for the CFQ or the certificate of qualification, that you've actually got all the information you need and that uh, you know it's easier for you to access. So again, bring your own device is gonna be new this year. We are looking for everybody to do this. Um, and you know, it's, I think it's a good thing going forward. Um, we're told to embrace technology and I have no problem with that. Um, so that's where we are.
As far as getting into the industry, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. We can go through a traditional apprenticeship, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but um, basically what you do is you go out and you find a job in a shop um, or in the industry somewhere. Uh, you need to be signed on as an apprentice once you have landed that position. And then what you do is uh, you'll probably work for about a year, and then you'll get a, an offer letter from the ministry, and they'll say, um, you know, it's time for you to go to school for level one. and then a year of work and then level two and a year of work and level three. And basically that's how you would go through your apprenticeship. And it takes about three to five years to go through that process. And uh, at the end of that, you'll write a, a final exam, which, um, you know, you should do right after you've finished school and, and your hours in the shop. So the second way of doing that is to go through a motive power program, such as the two that I'm talking about here. Uh, the first one is uh, the level it, in the certificate program, you'll get uh, what we call the level one equivalency if you have been successful in all of your reportable subjects. So if you've uh, successfully completed the subjects after the certificate program is done the first year, uh, you're uh, able to get a level one equivalency. So if you go into a shop, the manager, whoever hired you, can look at you and say, um, yes, I agree that he's a level one equivalent. And now it basically takes you um, onto the start of level two in your apprenticeship. Uh, so you don't have to come back to school for level one, okay? If you do the diploma program, it's basically the same, only now you have a level two equivalency when you go into the shop, which means you would be heading towards your level three. Um, we've had, a number of students go through this process and it works out very well for them. So uh, basically you're in school for a year or you're in school for two years and then you go out into the trade and then you're on the, the home stretch to, to go for your license. So again, you're looking at three to five years. So what careers can I get into? Well, there's all kinds. Um, I've named off, I don't know, about 20 here, but um, the first three here, uh, service technician, shop foreman, service manager, those are fairly obvious ones. Uh, parts counter, parts manager, aftermarket specialist. You know, some of these are, uh, you know, they're pretty normal for uh, us to look at and get into. But then you can get into some different things like diagnostic specialist. You can be a specialist in glass or electronics or security or um, a number of things or if you want to be a shop owner or dealer principal those are within the realm of this program as well one of my favorites here is the uh, forensic collision reconstruction which basically um, these are the guys that go to crash scenes and whatnot and they'll pull all the data from the vehicles and whatnot and they'll try and reconstruct a um, an accident scene from that and um, it's guys like us that go out and do that uh, obviously there's some training that goes with it but um, you know, those are things you can look at. Fabrication and customization, those are two more things that you wouldn't think of off the, off the hop, but those are things that we can get into as well. Um, I've included a campus tour here, and this will probably work if you do this on your own, but I'll, uh, I'll click on it and we'll just go into it real quick and have a quick look-see. But um, So you can go to this website here. Uh, you can go on the campus tour. It'll take you through all our shops and everything. Um, I'm just going to do it real quick just to show you what's uh, what's in here. But this is our heavy duty shop. Uh, nice shop. Lots of uh, equipment. Very clean. Um, our automotive shop. This is a, a beautiful automotive shop. And uh, it, this picture does it no justice. There's a lot more to it. I can... Um, I can let it uh, run on 360. If you look straight ahead, you'd be walking into a, our other shop here, the hybrid shop, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but you can see how big the shop is. It's uh, very large. We have a number of bays here with hoists and everything in them. Um, all state-of-the-art equipment, uh, scan tools and whatnot, so very nice. Uh, next one is our engine repair lab. That's in the automotive shop as well. And uh, we can do all machining uh, on engines here for both diesel and gas. Um, so it's nice. Um, this is our hybrid shop. And the hybrid shop is basically exactly that. We use it for a number of different things, but uh, we're getting into hybrid technology now. Uh, we, we're also one of the, maybe the only college in Canada that's uh, licensed for um, 
LPG or liquid propane gas. Um, so natural gas. Um, like I said, we're one of the only colleges in Canada, I think, that has that. This here is our flex shop, and we can use this uh, kind of as a universal shop. We run automotive on one side for a while, and then we run um, some of our heavy equipment operators on the other side. Um, again, it's a shop that we can use. This is our uh, diesel engine shop, and this one here, we can uh, we can run in full diesel engines in here, and we probably have about eight or nine in here. I can't remember exactly, but you can see the monitors up on the wall. We can hook up to them with our um, computers and we can look at the engine running and all the uh, sensors and whatnot going on. This is our, uh, whoops, sorry, our main truck shop. I'll go back to that one for a sec. This is our main truck shop and we can hold um, probably about eight full-size trucks in here at a time, um, but you can see, if I can go back here for a sec. This is a 10,000 square foot building or square foot shop. And in there we have uh, engines, transmissions, differentials, all kinds of things that we take apart. Um, we spend a lot of time in the shop. It's a very nice shop. And if you compare it to other colleges, we're probably one of the bigger ones uh, as far as shop size and whatnot. Our welding shop, uh, basically you're looking at individual uh, cubicles here that we do all our welding and stuff in. We do MIG, TIG, uh, oxyacetylene. So we're, uh, we're very well equipped for welding courses. And this would be one of our classrooms. You can see that uh, you know it's fairly good sized classrooms. We have uh, uh, lots of wall space for writing on and whatnot so that students can see what we're doing. And this is our new, newly renovated cafeteria that we have here. Um, you can see we have foosball, we have gaming, we have pool tables, uh, we have lots of space for students to sit in, place for laptops, lounging, all that stuff. So um, it was just re renovated last year and I think they did a great job of it. So I'll shut this down, we'll just finish up here. Uh, frequently asked questions that I get, do I need to bring my own tools? Well, in Truck and Coach, not so much because we have all our own tools in our shop and uh, it's just a lot easier if you just use our tools. So the answer is no. If you wanna bring in your own tools, we don't, uh, we don't stop you from doing that, but you are responsible for them. Um, how hard is it to get a job in this industry? Like I said, this is an industry that's looking for people all the time. So if you wanna work and if you like the, what you're doing, this trade will take you on with no problem. We, we want all the people we can get. Um, we're looking for good people all the time. How much does it pay? Well, I like to put it like this. Um, your pay will reflect your ability and your enthusiasm in this trade. Uh, I find the guys that want to work in this trade and they don't mind getting dirty and they do a lot of uh, you know, their own training and stuff like that. Those are the guys that get ahead. And uh, I've seen guys make really good money in this trade. So um, it, I, I think with most jobs, you, you wanna love what you do. Uh, if you love what you do, you're gonna be well rewarded here. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of my presentation. If, uh, if there's anything that I can do to help you or any questions that you might ask or might need to ask, uh, I'll leave my email address here for you. Uh, Abby Brandes is our college liaison and I've left her email address as well. Um, I'd like to see you in September. I hope I see you in September. Um, when you look at colleges, look at Conestoga College and look at it hard because I think we are one of the best colleges for what we do um, in the trades. And uh, like I said, hope to see you in September.